here are some general shop safety rules for the precision machining shop. Eye protection is required at all times in the shop area. Remove loose clothing, watches, rings, and ties. No long sleeve shirts are allowed in the shop. All horseplay is to cease in the shop area. Before operating any machine, you must pass a test of safety with that machine of 100%. Do not operate any machine when the instructor is not in the shop. When working with another student, only one should operate the machine controls. Do not lean or sit on any machine. Do not talk to others when they are operating a machine. Get first aid immediately for any injury and report all injuries to your instructor. Put all tools away when not in use. Do not leave tools or work on the machine table or on the machine itself even if the machine is not running. Vibrations could cause the tools to fall and end up in an improper position. If you are in doubt about anything, ask your instructor. Clean up all spilled liquids immediately. They are slipping hazards. Keep all floors free of oil, grease, and any other kind of liquid. Do not try to make any repairs of equipment yourself. Report them to your instructor. All observers should stay out of the machine area while the machine is in operation. In case of fire, follow the posted signs to leave the building immediately, but walk. Do not run. In case of a tornado drill or tornado siren, proceed to the correct location following your instructor's inst instructions. All oily rags should be put in the proper waste containers. If you need help, ask your instructor. When lifting heavy objects, lift with your legs. Keep your back as straight as possible. If you do not know how to lift something or need help, ask your instructor. Do not touch any moving objects or any part of the machine that is moving. This includes belts, pulleys, chucks, cutters, parts, wheels, any, anything that is rotating, do not touch it. Get your instructor's permission before leaving a shop area. We need to know where you are at at all times for safety reasons. Use special safety equipment when required. When in doubt, ask your instructor. Machines are only as safe as the person using them. Machines do not think and are tougher than you are. You must think if this job is to be accident free. You have a brain. The machine does not. You have to think for you and the machine. Precision machining safety lathe rules. Safety glasses are required at all times in the shop area. Remove all watches, rings, bracelets, etc. before running the lathe. Tie back long hair to keep it out of rotating parts. Do not wear loose clothing or long sleeve shirts while running the lathe. Do not operate the lathe until you have received proper instruction on how to run the machine. Before turning on the power, make sure the clutch engagement lever is in the neutral position. Otherwise, the spindle will start rotating as soon as the power is engaged. Once the power is turned on, make sure the oil sight glass fills. This ensures the clutch system is lubricated properly and will function as needed. Do not leave the chuck wrench in the chuck at any time for any reason. 
If the spindle is started, the chuck wrench will fly out and could cause injuries. Do not run R3 jaw chucks faster than 625 RPMs. Do not shift the lathe gears while the spindle is turning. When removing any work holding device, chuck, faceplate, etc. from the spindle, place a wooden chuck block on the bed waist to protect them if the unit is dropped. Do not touch, measure, or try to adjust any part while the machine is turning. Do not take heavy cuts on long slender parts. Do not turn a part with a long unsupported length extending from the chuck. The rule of thumb for material standout is as follows. Do not allow more than three times the diameter extending from the chuck unsupported with the tailstock center. Remember, as you turn the diameter down, the unsupported extended length will decrease. When using a file with a handle, you will remove all burrs sharp edges, and sharp edges from the parts. When filing or deburring near the chuck, it is better to use the left hand on the handle and the right hand on the end of the file across the part, always being aware of the chuck at all times.